Meantime, residents of Johannesburg have uh, different reactions to the news that South Africa's last vice president, Frederick de Klerk, Sheila Dwara, said that while he could acknowledge de Klerk's contribution to dismantling the apartheid regime he had once led, his prior actions were sinful. Meanwhile, another resident who did not wish to be named said the Clark's name should be remembered for the work he did to eventually end apartheid. Dr. De Clark uh, headed South Africa's white minority government until 1994, when Nelson Mandela's African National Congress Party swept to power. He shared the 1993 Nobel Peace Prize with Mandela, but his role in the transition to democracy remains highly contested more than 20 years after the end of apartheid. Once in the time he was president, and the actions that he did take prior to becoming president, bad, very bad, um, sinful. It was a mass genocide of black people. I mean, as, black, black, as, any, as a human being, you can't agree with that, but at the same time, you have to look at the actions that he did take that changed the country. Well, I thought he tried to do a lot of good, and uh, he succeeded in uh, helping to bring down apartheid, which was a good thing. And I think that's how he should be remembered. And he was old, but it's also sad. I think he also played a huge role in, in freedom, in democracy. Honestly, I feel no remorse. Even though a, pol a politician died, I feel like he's dead. He helps South Africa move forward in a way. Away from all the criticism, the negativity, the racism. So I feel like it moved us in a way. I wish his family some, some healing, and hopefully, you know, uh, at some point, wherever he is, he can find some peace. Because, uh, I mean, with a name like that coming up, we still think about what happened around the time where apartheid was heavy on South Africans, and majority, majorly on black South Africans. So uh, those, those memories, uh, they don't fade away so easily. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.